I curl my hair with a straightener because I think it looks better. So I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. First thing I do is split my hair into half and half and then I tie the side that I'm not doing off. From the side that's down, I'm gonna leave out the longest pieces of hair. From the side, I took about an inch of a piece and I'm gonna go up here and then take the straightener and start turning immediately and keep turning all the way down. Get another piece and you wanna go the opposite direction of how you just curled this one. I curled the first one away from my face, so I'm going to curl this one towards my face. Now I'm gonna leave down the next longest part of the wolf cut. I forgot on the first layer, but I'm gonna use some hairspray to keep it in place. You get the point. I'm gonna keep taking out the next longest section until I get all the way to the top. Now that it's all curled except the bangs, it's time for the moment of truth. We have to check the back. Is it bad? Be honest. Now it's time to do the bangs. Basically, I just take them through the straightener and round out the bottom. And that is how I curl my hair. Let me know if you would ever try curling your hair with a straightener. Million dollars or a makeup brush? Is this some kind of joke? Who would pick the makeup brush? I should go pick it. No, I didn't. What am I supposed to do with this? Maybe it's magical. At least it looks pretty. Oh, this is useless. I don't want it. Hey, Bailey, I bought you this candle. Why? And you used it. Because you're so beautiful, you deserve a gift. Okay, weirdo. Thank you. Um, what was that? I don't know. He's never spoken to me before today. Maybe it's your new haircut. I stalked your Twitter and I found out that you really like these drinks, so I got you one. That's a little creepy, but thank you, I think. Okay, am I on a prank show right now? Because if so, I need to put more lip gloss on. I hope we're on What Would You Do? I love that show. Can I do your homework for the rest of the year? Why would you do that? Because you deserve it. You can have anything that you want. Okay, did you do something different today? I don't think so. I woke up and then I used this random makeup brush that I got. What makeup brush? It was from that selection thing. Dude, it's magical. What? You have to give it to me. I want to use it too. But I threw it away. I don't understand why you won't let me buy a giraffe. They're so cute. Because it's illegal. Short girls or tall girls? Oh, you have to answer 10 right questions to get your soulmate. I have to get 10 right? I've never gotten more than a 2% on one of my tests before. Yeah, I know. Let's hope you like short girls because I'm 5'3". Mm. Look, problem solved. I'm tall now. What, are you just going to stand on a chair forever? Soulmate likes wealth or love. I really hope it's love because I have 20 cents in my bank account. You spent $100 on V-Bucks yesterday. Love. Mm. I need you to go buy me a lottery ticket stat. No, you're not gonna win. You never know. It sounds like your soulmate doesn't like you. How could he not? I'm the best. Soulmate likes gold or diamonds. Well, diamonds are a girl's best friend, so I hope that it's his too. Finally, I got one right. Aw, oh, that's the first time you've ever gotten anything right. A soulmate lives in a castle or an apartment? Obviously, apartment. See, now it knows that I'm stupid, so it's giving me easy questions that I'm gonna get right. Mm. I'm sorry, huh? Okay, that might be enough brain cells for you to be normal, right? Karma is my boyfriend! I think you're just weird in general. I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a 10. Are you just speaking in song lyrics right now? This uh uh sex to die for. Girl, nobody wants to do that with your raggedy, ugly, dusty ass. And I'm sure I've seen much hotter men, but I really can't remember when. Hey, are you calling me ugly right now? I have a whole roster of hoes. Bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. Is it illegal to muzzle a person? You're literally a freak. But I'm still shaking ass in the deli. They'd throw your cake out of the bakery. There must be something normal in there. Oh, you ladies pop your puss. Welcome to cosmetology school. Today you'll be doing an eyeshadow look. Can we use glitter? Sure, you can use whatever you want. Let me see your look. Do you like it? Oh my god. What the hell did you do to your face? Picasso, I like it. You know what? Try some eyeliner instead. It fixes everything. Okay. And done. Oh, of course you made it worse. You don't like it? No, no, I love it. Here, how about a lipstick? <laughs> you can use that normally. Oh, come on. You look like a clown. Oops. Why would you ever put that much on? I'm Kylie Jenner. You do not look like Kylie Jenner at all. She is so annoying. Dude, who are you talking to? Next up is hair, okay? Where did you even find a purple wig here? This is my real hair. Don't be jealous. I know for a fact that it's not your real hair. What are you even doing? You know what? You're fired. Fetch. Why are you the only one that's not normal? Every night at 8 p.m., you cried to You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. How do you know that? I've never told anyone. I know everyone's deepest, darkest secrets. It's just such a good song. If you know secrets, what's mine? You have a foot fetish. What? No, I don't. I don't believe this either. What's my biggest secret? You like to cover yourself in oil and slide around the floors like a penguin. Uh, what? Who would do that? Then why is there baby oil in your backpack? 
Okay, who put that there? You could have easily made that up. You put peanut butter on your... No, no, do not finish that. And you let the dog lick it off. Ew. Ew. What a freak. I don't think I do anything that weird. Your guilty pleasure is to lick the floor of gas station bathrooms. I would never do something like that. I found a videotape of you doing it four hours ago. What? Where? Who would like to see? Me! Oh, I have to see this. You can't read me because I don't have any secrets. You killed both of your parents. Yeah, and you're next. The police are on their way. Hey, bitch. You're afraid of trees. I don't like the texture of bark. What, today you know everyone's fears instead of secrets? Yes, I know what everyone fears. I think that we could use this. Okay. What's Marissa afraid of? Cockroaches. Aw, uh, basic, just like her. Oh my god, who filled my locker with cockroaches? What is wrong with you? That's not very nice. She slept with my boyfriend while we were together. Oh. How about Mr. Michaels? He's afraid of his wife leaving him. I don't know why she hasn't yet. Back me up, okay? Mr. Michaels, I swear I just saw your wife making out with the PE teacher. Yes, I saw that too. No, how could she do this to me? I have to go see her right now. I feel like you are using me. What? No, I'm not. Here, have a lollipop. This is a tampon. Close enough. Whatever. Suck on it. What's my ex afraid of? You. Oh, haha. Ha, you're so funny. Don't lie. I do not have the ability to lie. Babe, let's just get back together. I'm sorry I smashed your car windows. What's your weird quirk today? You're going to die in a plane accident. What? Why would you say that? You'll be sitting in seat 32A and you will get sucked out the side of the plane. What the hell? I am never going on a plane ever again. Oh, good morning, Bailey. Welcome to class. Your wife is going to murder you after you cheat on her. I am not cheating on my wife. How dare you? Yes, you are. And with a student. How do you know that? Which one of you sluts is sleeping with the teacher? Dude, why are you being so weird? You're gonna die by falling off of a cliff. That doesn't sound like me at all. You hung onto the ledge to try to look cool, but you actually fell. Oh, yeah, that does sound a lot like me. Are you feeling all right? You'll die by drowning inside of a kiddie pool. Huh? That's so embarrassing. How much water was in the pool? It was only five inches of water. I'm such a loser. If you know how people die, what about me? I'm not picking anything up from you. Because I'm a vampire and I'm gonna live forever. <sighs> oh, wait. Annie sounds kind of cute. I could go with that. So what name did you get? Oh, it says Annie Rection. Bailey, are you serious? I think you need to read that one more time. What? What do you mean? Do you hear what you're saying? Annie Rection. Oh! <gasps> Oh, decline. Oh, my God. I can't believe I almost accepted that. You need to figure out how to read, apparently. Whatever. Remember, you can only decline two times. I know, but the next one has to be better than that. Yeah, you better hope so. Ben. I mean, that's usually a boy's name, but I could go by Ben. What is it this time? Ben Dover. Girl, you have got to be kidding me, right? Not again. Oh, hey, Amanda. Yeah, that's not my name anymore. It's Taylor Swift now. That's the name you got? Yeah, isn't it awesome? What did you get? You don't want to know. Please be good. PP time. I don't want to be called PP. Sis, please tell me there's another way to change my name. There is, but you're not going to like it. Sis, could you bring me toilet paper? Yeah, one sec. Here you go. Oh my god, it actually worked? I can't believe it. What worked? You made my name toilet paper? Oops, it was an accident. Give it to me. No, you're not getting this now. Are you kidding me? I need it. Suffer. Oh, hey, uh, toilet paper? Please, don't call me that. Would you prefer TP? No, I would not. How could you get that bad of a name? Ugh, it wasn't my fault. You should plead your case for a redo to the officials. I didn't know you could get a redo. Only if it's really bad like yours. Go here, they should be able to help you. They better change it or I'm never leaving my house ever again. Next! Hi, I need to change my name. Go take a seat and someone will be with you. Hi, I'll be helping you today. You're who I'm pleading my case to? Is there a problem? No, no, no problem. Let's go. So are you going to speak? My sister tricked me right when I was able to pick my name. Are you stupid? Excuse me? Maybe you should just be smarter. But I didn't know that it was my turn to pick my name. Pay more attention. Please, can't you just consider it? Only if you can help me too. Like how? I need a date to my sister's wedding and I'm desperate. I can see why you would be desperate. What's that supposed to mean? You've been mean since I started talking to you. If you had an aura, it would be red. Whatever, will you do it or not? If I say yes, will you change my name? Yes, I will. Wait, I have one condition. Fine, what? I want your piece of cake too. That's it? Deal. Deal. So when's the wedding? In one hour. So you better change. I'm not changing. You can't wear that. Listen, buddy, I'm doing you a favor and I will not be putting on a dress. You're so stubborn. Hi, oh my gosh, you must be Zach's new girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm his mom, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a professional mime. Oh, I'd love to see. Oh, uh, oh, wow. That was good. Thank you. 
Well, it was nice to meet you. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was trying to make a good first impression as your girlfriend. You're embarrassing me. Behave or I won't change your name. Fine, I'll behave. Oh, look, here comes the groom. What? What's wrong? That's my ex-boyfriend. What? What's wrong? That's my ex-boyfriend. Your ex-boyfriend's getting married to my sister right now? Apparently, yeah. How crazy is that? What a small world. Why do you look panicked? Did it not end well? No, it ended terribly. You may now kiss the bride. What What are you doing? Let's go inside. You have to tell me what's going on. So, Spill. He cheated on me with someone and I never found out who, but I guess I just did because it's your sister. Ew, my sister's a homewrecker? You need to get it together. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm in a t-shirt. I did tell you to change. I'm sure he'd love to see his ex. Why don't we go over there and congratulate them? They just got married. Isn't that kind of petty? Petty ideas are my favorite. Maybe I do like you. Hey, guys, me and my girlfriend wanted to congratulate you. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing here? What? Do you know her or something? Yeah, that's my ex-girlfriend. Uh, she's my ex-girl. How could you invite your ex-girlfriend to our wedding? Well, I didn't. <clears throat> Why don't we go talk about this in a separate room, honey? Why are you dragging me? Congrats again. I'd say the mission was successful. Thanks, that made me feel a little bit better. Good, I'm glad to help. Look at you being all nice now. Whatever, don't get used to it. Your hair looks stupid. Hi guys, thank you all so much for coming. Does this mean that you'll change my name now? No, not yet. What? But that was our deal. I know, but I need just one more thing. You can't do that. Actually, I can, because I have the power to change your name. There's an after party, and my ex-girlfriend's gonna be there. So, what does that have to do with me? I need you to help me make her jealous. I don't know about that. I just helped you make yours jealous, unless you want to be named Toilet Paper Forever. No, I don't want to be called Toilet Paper Forever, so I guess you got me. Baby, what are you doing here? Baby, I thought you were broken up. We are. No, we're not. Is this a new girl? Hold my hoops, I'm gonna beat your <laughs> ass. Sweetheart, did you get a hair strand yet? Nope, I don't have anything. I just hope you're not one of those supernatural freaks. Anyway, should I wear the Chanel or the Prada purse? The Chanel bag would look great with your outfit. Hey guys, where's Jessica? She got supernatural, so we kicked her out of the group. Yeah, she's over there by the trash now. That's a little brutal, don't you think? Supernaturals don't belong with us ordinary people. Would you guys excuse me for one second? I have to go put lip gloss on. Of course. Jessica, I need to show you something, but you cannot freak out, okay? Okay, I won't. Look. Is that pink? Dude, keep your voice down. Sorry, but what does it mean? I don't know, and I haven't seen anyone else who has pink. I bet that Griffin would know. I'm not talking to him. That kid is a freak. A smart freak. Let's go. Halt! Who art thou, and what do thou want? We just have a question. We just want to know why I got a pink strand. Oh my god, I've read about this, but I didn't think it was true. Didn't think what was true. Is this some kind of joke? I'm not being called ugly forever. Decline. Sis, I already accepted my name, the first one. Really? What was it? Sandra. Isn't that pretty? Like that girl from Greece? That's so cute. My first one was ugly. Oh, well, you accepted it, right? No, why would I accept it? I mean, it's true. You are ugly. No. Be careful. Don't run out of choices. Please, I'm sure the next one's going to be better than that. Anything is. Another one? Short stuff? I'm not even that short. I'm 5'3". The third one better be good. Hey, Mom, do you know what happens when you run out of name choices? We don't know. Some people think that you die. Oh. Uh, why are you asking? I've already declined two of them. They were terrible. You cannot decline the third one, whatever you do. Please don't be fat. Please. Idiot? My last one cannot be idiot. I can't take that. This name is your final option. You have to accept it. I don't want to be called idiot for the rest of my life. You really don't have a choice at this point. Well, what really happens when you run out of names? No one's ever run out, but you could die. That seems a little dramatic. I don't think you should be the one to find out. I'm going to do it. Please don't kill me. I'm okay. Good. What happened with your name? Um, hello. What happened to the name? It picked one for me instead. Your reaction's making me think it's not good. It says car accident. <laughs> That's not even a name. There's got to be some way I can change that, right? <laughs> not that I know of, car accident. Become nameless. You should just become nameless. I don't know if I want to have no name forever. Well, what is the other option? Being called car accident. There has got to be some way I can change it myself. I know where you can go. Bro, where did you come from? Don't worry about that. You need to go to this address alone. 
You want me to pull up to a random sketchy address alone? I promise they can change your name for you. Okay, I'll do it. Mm. At the door, the password is cheese. Cheese? Really? Okay. Um, oh. Hello, what's the password? Uh, cheese? Oh, yes, come right this way. So, what do you want? I need to change my name, like, really badly. I can do that, but you're gonna have to pay. Pay, like, how much money? No, not with money. The only way to get a new name is to steal one from someone you know. What? $20 to me or my mom. I don't really need it right now, so maybe she can use it. Hey, that bracelet is so cute. When did you get it? Oh, I used the $20 that I got this morning to go and buy it. What did you get? I gave my 20 to my mom, so nothing. That's cute or whatever, but I needed this bracelet. Do you see how cute it is? A new car, what? Well, if I give it to my mom, she'll probably just give me her old one, so... Dude, there is no way you gave that one to your mom, too. I'm gonna get a G-Wagon for my car. <sighs> Wait, why aren't you taking any of them for yourself? I don't know, I'm happy with what I have, so it's fine. Okay, you are insane if you give this one to your mom, too. Well, I'm probably still gonna live with her anyway, so it's our house. You have fun with that? I'm gonna go live in a mansion, okay? I just know you're gonna <laughs> regret that. Ooh, I could get a mansion on the beach. Um, did you just get another one, too? Um, no, I only got the three questions before. I think I just got $10 million. Um, what? What do you mean? It just says plus $10 million. Dude, what? You are so lucky. You have to give me some of that. You can have some. I can't keep it all, but I have to tell my mom. Why do you give everything to your mom? You should keep it for yourself instead. Maybe I want to, okay? I love her. I want some of the money, too. Yeah, you better give me some for lunch. Me, too. Um, I have to go. Honey, I'm sorry, but there's leftovers in the fridge for dinner. I didn't have enough money for a new meal tonight. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Why? What are you talking about? Check the bank account. How many zeros is that? Ten million dollars? Where did you get all of this from? Thank you so much. This is gonna change our lives. I love you. You guys need to give me all of the money right now. Whoa, hang on a second. You need to transfer all ten million dollars into my account by the end of the day or else. Save my mom or save all the money. You have to keep all the money, sweetheart. It'll change your life. No, mom, I can't do that to you. At least I would die knowing that you'll stay happy. I'm sorry, we can find money another way. No way, you actually just gave me all of the money. See you later, suckers. I can't believe you just did that for me. I love you. Of course, I love you. We need to find some other way to make money. I'll get a second job, it'll be fine. I'll be happy with anything as long as it's with you. Me too. Bailey, I heard a rumor that you actually lost all the money. Yeah, it's true. I bet you're so jealous now that you have nothing. I have such a nice car and a house. Whatever. You are just so dumb. I would have saved all the money over my mom. You know what? Even if I did have the money, I wouldn't have given any of it to you. Why? What? You said that you would. You're just kind of a bitch. Um, excuse me? What are you doing? That's not edible. Then why is it scented like watermelon? Guess the magic word for what? If you guess it right, you get to meet your soulmate, but you only get three chances and you get hints. I don't need the hint. I think I know what it is. Really? Broccoli. What? Why would it be broccoli? That was wrong. Of course it was wrong. That was a stupid guess. I don't know. I like broccoli. Stop messing around. Just take the hint. It says that it starts with the letter O. Okay, pick something simple like oval. What if it's ostrich? I don't think that it's going to be the word ostrich. <gasps> I know what it is. Oligarchy. Dude, what? Why would it be that? Do you even know what that word means? No. Ugh, then why would you ever guess it? I don't know. I thought it was a cool word. I'm losing brain cells. What's your next hint? It's a body of water. Come on, you have to know what this is. It's so easy. A body of water that starts with the letter O. I can't think of one. Ah. Uh, seven, one. What is my soulmate big? It's only 5'4! Aw, oh, short king. No! It's well, it's better than the ugly jean that you're gonna give them. <gasps> I am not ugly! Find him? You know, I don't think I could miss him. He is 7. I'm 5'2. Thank you. Maybe he's like an NBA player. <laughs> not like that tall, right? Are you dumb? That's really tall. My soulmate! Excuse me, sorry, excuse me. I need to get like Shrek. What? Shrek? Ooh. Be over seven feet. Can y'all stop shoving me like-
Hey guys, get ready with me to go buy my first house at 17. Technically, I'm not buying it, my daddy is, because I've never had a job before. I tried working a lemonade stand once when I was a kid and it was just not for me. Though I'm like kind of upset about it because the house that I wanted had four garages and my dad only ended up getting the house that had three garages. So now one of my Ferraris is gonna have to sit in the driveway. I think I'm gonna put like the really old Lambo that my dad gave me in the driveway. I know he said it was classic and vintage, but I don't really care about it because it's ugly and like the paint is peeling off of it. I've been asking what I plan on doing for a job but I actually just planned on marrying rich so I don't think I'm ever gonna have to get a job I don't really understand why more parents don't buy their kids houses sooner My friend's parents won't buy her a house So she's gonna live in one of the 15 guest rooms that are in mine instead I think I'm gonna turn one of the spare guest rooms into a zoo because I figured out it's only $30,000 to buy a giraffe and like that's my favorite animal So I think I'm gonna do it. anyway bye I'm gonna go buy some pillows at Dior so that my dog can sleep on them today I'm gonna try to do a full face of makeup using this filter. I do not have a mirror in front of me if I turn my head up I, I, I. I got three hours of sleep last night, so I need this Something in my tooth. Has that been there the whole time? I'm putting on a lot because I want to be blushing. There are no eyebrows. Yes, we will not be doing my eyebrows at all. The beard is trying. I don't know what that looks like. Round number two. Oh, why is it glitching? What happened here? Okay, guys, I think that it's time for the reveal. In three. It's also throwing me off. I definitely made my lips uneven. I'm gonna have to go fix this, but I believe that I'm not using an extra mirror. I am so committed to the bit. Well, I need more foundation. I just think the contour is gonna help. No such thing as today. I'm gonna try to do a full face of makeup. I love your outfit. Thanks, Melanie. I love your new haircut. Really? Thank you so much. Do you actually like her hair? No, it looks like her mom put a bowl over her head and started cutting. Then why would you say that to her? You can't lie. Why not? I like to keep my balance high. People are gonna find out that you're not telling the truth. Hey, your hair looks so pretty. Oh, thanks. I love your skirt. It's very grandma couture. It was my grandma's. We should totally hang sometime. You know, I'm like really busy. I got a lot going on. Oh, it's okay. I get it. Seriously, like, can you just stop lying to people like that? I already told you, no. You're gonna regret it. Tell me you at least liked her skirt. That was the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Your hair looks hideous. Did you even wash it? Excuse me? Go take a shower. You smell bad. Why is everyone looking at me funny? Have you not seen it? Your best friend took a voice memo of you making fun of someone. What? <laughs> looks like you're not gonna be getting any more compliments. Hey guys, get ready with me to go buy my first house at 17. Technically, I'm not buying it. My daddy is because I've never had a job before. I tried working a lemonade stand once when I was a kid and it was just not for me. Though I'm like kind of upset about it because the house that I wanted had four garages and my dad only ended up getting the house that had three garages. So now one of my Ferraris is gonna have to sit in the driveway. I think I'm gonna put like the really old Lambo that my dad gave me in the driveway. I know he said it was classic and vintage, but I don't really care about it because it's ugly and like the paint is peeling off of it. I've been asking what I plan on doing for a job but I actually just planned on marrying rich so I don't think I'm ever gonna have to get a job I don't really understand why more parents don't buy their kids houses sooner My friend's parents won't buy her a house So she's gonna live in one of the 15 guest rooms that are in mine instead I think I'm gonna turn one of the spare guest rooms into a zoo because I figured out it's only $30,000 to buy a giraffe and like that's my favorite animal So I think I'm gonna do it. anyway bye I'm gonna go buy some pillows at Dior so that my dog can sleep on them